as sanctioned by the National Wrestling Alliance at stake, will be the World Heavyweight Championship title. Introducing first, the challenger at 228. Instructions are being given right now. More than 10,000 people gathered in the Mid-South Coliseum to witness this epic clash between brash Jerry Lawler, the challenger, and the world's heavyweight king, Jack Frisco. Frisco offers the hand. Frisco with about a two and a half pound advantage over Lawler at 230 to 227 and a half. Special referee Tommy Marlin instructs Sam Bass, manager of Lawler, to stay in the chair and don't get out. There's the bell and the World's Heavyweight Championship is underway. Frisco, immediately the aggressor, moves Lawler back into the corner. With the arm drag, a drop kick, and Frisco goes after him in a hurry. He may be looking for some revenge in the fact that Jerry Lawler defeated his brother Jerry Briscoe. Jack Briscoe chases Lawler right out of the ring and begs him to come back in and take some more. Lawler taking the full count, moves to the ring ropes, but Briscoe helped him in. Once again, Lawler down. Ooh, and Jack Briscoe. Smashes Lawler, goes for a reverse face lock. The referee checks to see whether Lawler submits. So far, it's all Jack Briscoe. Lawler has been known as a very slow starter. He has tremendous stamina. At 24 years old, he has made the boast that he can wrestle all night the likes of Jack Briscoe. If the first minute and a half is any sample, he'll never be able to live up to that boast. Frisco holds that reverse face lock from referee Tommy Marling making a point to be certain that Sam Bass stays right in the vicinity of that chair. Lawler with the pressure on and Sam once again being told to get back in the chair and stay there. Lawler refusing to submit and Frisco very strong Cat Quick, a great amateur wrestler from Oklahoma State, pours the heat on his brash challenger tonight. The crowd, a mixed reaction to Lawler. That's the way it has always been with him. Those who hate him and those who love him for his arrogance, his impudence. Right at the moment, you can see that Jack Briscoe has neither respect nor fear for Lawler. He continues with a hold, and Lawler trying to pry Briscoe's arm off, no success. Jack really has it up tight. Lawler is able to move over on his knees. Briscoe slides behind. And now Lawler to his feet. Frisco having a hard time holding that reverse face lock as Lawler starts to pry his way out. And you can hear the Lawler 
fans come to their feet and start cheering for the self-proclaimed king. Jerry Lawler finally to top it off reaches up grabs the hair and pulls Jack Briscoe back to the canvas and for the first time Lawler with an arm bar shows any semblance of getting to Jack Briscoe. Referee Tommy Marlin tells Sam Bass back to the chair and here comes Jerry Briscoe out of his brother's corner to be certain that he goes back to the chair. Briscoe takes Lawler over but Jerry holds right on and slams Briscoe into the canvas. It's for all the marbles the World Heavyweight Championship title bout. Challenger Jerry Lawler putting the pressure on that arm bar on champion Jack Briscoe. The crowd strangely quiet as Lawler still trying to regain some strength from that reverse face lock that Jack Briscoe successfully held on him for some minutes. Jerry apparently at this point is content to just hold the upper arm Frisco to his feet finally pushing back has his hand under Lawler's chin moves him back across the ring if he can get him to the ropes that's as good as breaking the hold himself as the referee will force into a break takes him off Ooh, and Lawler caught coming off the road Jack Briscoe kicked out by Lawler hooks the arm and a flying rolling twist by Briscoe puts Lawler back down on the canvas and he is now the victim of that arm bar. Jack Briscoe lets go of the arm bar and drops down with the lower part of the leg. He's trying to weaken Lawler even more. Once again, he drops hard on him. You can see him moving back and forth on the bicep. Oh, and Lawler, a quick move into a body scissors on Briscoe. Jerry Lawler, again, taking time for a breather as he holds Briscoe reversed on the body scissors. Jerry Lawler now with Jack Briscoe in the center of the ring. Lawler pounding away has Briscoe in real trouble for the first time in this bout. It's been a very even exchange throughout the first 10 minutes of it. Jack Briscoe kicks his way out of it. Lawler goes for that reverse face lock. Frisco crashing his arms, trying to get away from challenger Jerry Lawler. Lawler once again holding tight. Jack Frisco. Jerry Lawler holding. Jack Briscoe crashing finally gets up to his feet but Lawler takes him back down. Lawler still holding on from behind and referee Tommy Marlin says keep your hands out of your ha his hair. It's Jerry Lawler in a dominant position right at the moment. He continues to hold a Jack Briscoe. Sam Bass being told to sit down and he does. Marlin 
over to check and remind Lawler that he has to have it on the chin. He can't drop it down on the throat. Frisco once again starts his move to try to work his way out. Takes that arm. And Lawler pulls him back down. A drop, a beautiful move by Frisco. But Jack, after the long duration of that reverse face lock, falls forward on his face. Sam Bass trying to tell Jerry to get up. And brother Jerry Frisco telling Jack, get to your feet. He got there momentarily. The referee is counting. It's a count of 10 for the wrestlers to be able to be on their feet and resume. Frisco thunders a broad arm to Lawler's back, and Jerry catches another one right across the small of the back. Frisco, who is in serious trouble, being really cheered on by brother Jerry Frisco. Jerry Frisco felt the lash of that severe right hand of Lawler's, and Lawler defeated Jerry. Ooh, and Lawler down on the deck. But his legs are draped over the rope, and the referee will ask, the, ask Jack Frisco to back up. Lawler has a 10 count to be able to resume wrestling action. And here comes champion Jack Frisco. Lawler falls into the corner. Uh-oh. As he turned when the referee was talking to him, Lawler took that moment to kick him in the midsection to the ropes. Ooh. Lawler unlaces him with the top part of that arm as he has so many of his previous opponents. One, could be a new champion. Two, no sir. Jerry Lawler within one count of being the world's heavyweight champion, but Jack Briscoe hasn't retained that title without desire. Suplex. Briscoe in real trouble now. Lawler gets a count of one, count of two, and once again, Jack Briscoe, everything left in him, from somewhere he calls on it and kicks his way out of the pen by Jerry Lawler, Sam Bass, hollering at his boy, finish him, finish him. Mm, Lawler drops, goes for another cover. One, Briscoe this time with a knee to Lawler's head, breaks up the count at one and a half. Jack Briscoe trying to get back to his feet. Lawler lifted high in air, but Briscoe without the strength to take him over. Falls himself, and the referee starts the count. Sam Bass could be it. Two, he's got his arm on him, but Lawler is able to move it off. Both of these wrestlers completely exhausted. 15-minute call, the 15-minute call, 45 minutes to wrestle. Jerry Lawler, Jack Briscoe, neither one of them is considered to be in a shape to finish the other right at the moment. Briscoe went for the step over to hole. Looked like he may have been going for a death lock. Lawler kicks him out of it. Straight up in the air, Briscoe drops Lawler down on Lawler's knee. He springs him. With the leg lever, Jack Briscoe springs it again. And the champion regaining his strength now. Steps it over. Lawler once again kicks his way out and down goes referee Tommy Marlin. Tommy Marlin flat on his back. Jack Briscoe with his brother hollering, get up, Jack, get up. Jerry Lawler in the center of the ring. Standing upright. Nails Jack Briscoe with that vicious right hand. Goes for the cover, and here's referee Tommy Marlin. One, two, this could be it. Three, the new world's heavyweight champion, Jerry Lawler. 
and Lawler. 